Clay County Animal Care and Control has reached maximum capacity after taking in three dozen dogs and cats from one overwhelmed owner. The staff spent hours evaluating and transporting the animals to the shelter. Channel 4's Crystal Moyo shows us how the animals are doing and how you can help out. It's anything but quiet here at Clay County's Animal Care and Control. This shelter is full after they were contacted by a local woman who handed over 36 dogs and cats. But the director says the woman had good intentions, fostering animals from rescues, taking in strays and other pets abandoned by neighbors. This is Pogo. He came uh, in yesterday as part of our, the 36 animals. Um, you can tell he's in good body condition, um, and that was part of... Yeah, what she told us is she was spending $50 every two days just on dog food alone. It just got overwhelming and she couldn't care for them anymore. In this heartbreaking letter, she writes, My dearest babies, I always wanted to give you all the love and care I could. This is not because of you. I love you all with my heart and soul. I will never be the same. She was really trying to do the right thing and in her mind keep them out of animal control where she was certain that they would be euthanized. Uh, so it took educating her into what animal control does, what we are all about. Director Christina Southern says they have a live release rate of 96% with intentions of saving every animal. The people here at Clay County Animal Care and Control say they have no plans right now to euthanize any of the animals they took in, but they need your help to put some things into perspective. They have 91 dogs with just 79 kennels. They're welcoming any families looking to adopt or animal rescue organizations to help find these guys a forever home. They're all different um, sizes, shapes, varieties, ages. Most of the animals are in great condition. Some have minor medical issues like ear infections or dental tartar. Some are even trained. He knows sit. Good boy. Come here. Speak. You speak. Yeah. Good boy. Honestly, our heart breaks because we feel for these people. They're, they're, the intentions are good. We were relieved when we got out there and we saw the condition they were in because we knew that everything was just going to be minor compared to what it could have been if she would have let it go on any longer. We've included all the information on adoptions on our website, newsforjacks.com. Just look for the story on the homepage. Reporting in Clay County, Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.